According to the Migration Policy Institute, 42.4 million immigrants live in the United States as of 2014. Of those, the Pew Research Center estimates that 11.3 million are here illegally. There are various reasons why immigrants come to America. You, you don't come to America uh, if, you're, if you're seeking oppression or if you're, you're seeking for your views or your ability, upward mobility, to be limited. You come here because of the freedom and the liberty that we provide and the opportunity that we provide through our, uh, uh, through our federal government that was established in this very town. If we're going to hold ourselves out as, as a great country and we're going to actually talk about the American dream, it's going to attract a lot of people, and I think that's important. And the more people we get, the more cultural it is, and, and that helps everybody. While a large number of immigrants come to this country to escape violent situations, their influence on our country is often creative and beneficial to both our citizens and economy. It's uh, very enriching to know people from different continents and different cultures. Uh, it opens your mind, it opens your comprehension, uh, your, under, you know, your openness to it gives you a different way to see, uh, to think of things, uh, basically, yeah. I think our economy would suffer from that, from those lack of, uh, you know, workers that, you know, immigrants do make up a good percentage of them. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump has expressed his strong views in opposition to immigrants, calling for stricter border regulations. He was quoted saying, these are people that shouldn't be in our country. They flow in like water. If the law in the book says that there's a separation between two countries, we need to establish that separation. I'm a firm believer in legal immigration. Immigration where people follow the rules, they go through uh, the process to come to our country legally. You can do that via visa. You can do that via a work permit, you can do that through a green card, there's a number of different ways you can do that and ultimately if you want to become a citizen there's a process for that. But jumping in line to come in front of everybody else who does that process legally is not fair to those people who take the time to do that legally. The process for gaining citizenship is really hard and they want to come here to improve their quality of life. With both candidates sharply divided on the topic, immigration is at the heart of the upcoming presidential election. You know, we can point out that we're standing in a love park, and I think that's the attitude we need to have towards immigrants. This is Katana from FLC Girls Youth News Team, signing off from PSTV.